Hi there everybody, welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, Mercedes A-Class. This is an A150 W169 chassis. Um, I'm going to be changing the oil and the oil filter. Now, um, if we look at the manual here, the manual, this is an A150. The A150 takes 5 litres um, with oil filter so i'm changing the filter as well i'm using this filter here ox382 and uh and it takes five liters as i already mentioned um now you would choose the oil viscosity um very much depending on where you live so in this case scenario um I'm gonna be using 5W30 because here in the UK the temperatures are not very extreme but um, if you have really cold weather you may want to use slightly higher viscosity and if you have really hot weather maybe lower viscosity so um, with that said and also this is the oil I'm gonna be using Mobile Super 3000 um, as I already shown, this is the filter. In the filter, you get the actual filter and these two O-rings there. And also, you're gonna need a 27 mil socket like this in order to get to the filter. 27 mil long extension here because the filter is down there so hopefully that shouldn't be too tight but sometimes these get a little bit hard to open That wasn't too bad. Now, if you let that filter rest there for a few minutes, um, whatever oil is in there will drain down, but also um, you won't be dripping. If I pull that up now, there'll be some uh, oil dripping from there and uh, it might drip around the area so you could wait a few minutes and let it drain completely um, if you haven't got a few minutes then you can pull it out and try to do it quickly there it is So we're going to prepare our filter um, while we drain the oil underneath. Now I'm going to open the oil filler cup here, which is a little bit hard. I'm also going to pull the dipstick here, just leave it like that. There we are. I always thought I was uh, stronger with my right hand. <laughs> now, um, now with that, have that set like this i'm gonna get the car up and drain the oil from underneath just remember if you're working outside um you don't want any leaves or dirt going into that opening there the opening of filter so you could always cover it with a bit of rag or paper um okay so now i'm gonna get the car up so looking at the car from underneath and uh, i'm uh, a little bit at the back if I just approach here you will find this 13 mil bolt so you need a 13 mil socket to release that bolt and uh, make sure you have an oil pan to catch the oil 
and also just remember if the car has been running a lot that oil can be very hot so be careful not to burn yourself Okay, so copper washer fell out, which is good. I'm gonna put a new copper washer. Now I'm gonna let that drain while we prepare our filter. While the oil is draining, we can prepare our filter. So we'll just pull this one out there. Okay, so with one of these, we can pick the o-ring out as well and the other little o-ring is just sitting in the back here it's there We can put the new one there. And we can also put the new o ring there. Just make sure you get it around the correct groove there. New filter. Push it in there and a little bit of grease. You can get some grease or some oil, the oil that you're going to use for your car, and just put it around this o ring. That way, when you screw this o ring, um, when you screw this back on, the o ring is going to slide around the housing without getting caught or damaged, ripped, or anything like that which can create a leak I'm sure uh, many people haven't or don't do that but uh, but I do so uh, if you wish to do it do so and uh, we have the bolt here the sampler bolt gonna get a new ring Put it in there. That particular o ring, the size of it is that one there 14 by 20 by 1.5. And so, I think this has been dripping for a little while now. So we can go ahead and put our sump plug back in there. Sump plug bolt. Some of these are tightened to 20, 25 newton meters. Even 30 on some cars. Um, but at the end of the day, we just want to tighten it to squash the little copper washer a little bit to create a seal. nothing too crazy so 20 newton meters isn't a lot of force anyway so main thing is not to damage the thread on the sump because that would be tragic so again just tighten it a little bit and leave it there if you see any oil dripping you can tighten it a little bit more And now we just want to wipe the clean the area clean there. That way, next time, next year, when you do the service, if there is any oil there, you'll know. Okay, with this nice and clean, I'm going to lower the car and then we can top up some oil and fit our new filter. Okay, now we are ready to get our filter back in there. So the first thing is I'm going to get it down there by hand and I'm gonna put it in 
by hand to make sure it's going in the correct direction. So, a little bit difficult to see down there, but um, I got it in there a little bit, making sure it's going in the correct way. And um, I didn't show you, but uh, on top of that, the cover of the filter, it says 25 Newton meters. So that's how much you need to tighten it to. If you have a torque wrench, you can uh, go ahead and do that. If you are, um, if you don't have a torque wrench, then uh, make sure the, uh, just close the filter all the way until it stops. Once it stops and you can't really turn it anymore, um, you just want to give it a, li a little extra force there and uh, that should be it really. Don't force it anymore otherwise you'll crack the, the cover. So when you tighten it with this, first it will be easy, then it will get a little bit harder because you'll feel a bit of resistance. Um, when the rubber is going in, the o-ring is going into the housing, you'll feel a bit of resistance, but you can still quite move it quite easily. And then it will come to a point where it doesn't move anymore. At that point, you give it the extra bit of tightening force. I'm talking about a few millimeters and, uh, and that's it. Leave it there. And uh, now, we can put some oil in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour five liters of oil in there. Um, you don't really need to see me doing that for the next five minutes, but uh, that's where the oil goes. So that is what I'm going to do. And I'm gonna put all these five liters in here. So, while the oil is going in there, we can check the quantities here. So I'm just going to pull the dipstick out. And you can see on the dipstick, you have a minimum with a little arrow there and a maximum there. So we're just going to check that up now, see where we're at. So this is just a little bit above the max there. You can just about see the, the mark. It's kind of uh, just about just sitting on the arrow there. And that is about right. So once we uh, run the engine, some of the oil will go into the oil filter housing. And, uh, and then the mark of your oil on the dipstick will go down a little bit which is what the manual says it's not exactly on the full but it's a little bit less than the full now we can put this cover on there Get all these things out of here I'm going to start the car, make sure everything is running 
properly. And also, we're going to reset the service reminder there. So, engine's running smooth. Make sure everything is closed. And, uh, and that's pretty much it as far as uh, changing the oil. So now we're gonna reset the, uh, the service menu there. So to reset that light, we're gonna put the ignition in position one and press this button three times and you're gonna get a voltage there. So with the voltage showing there, with this arrow, if you press the arrow down here, you will go into the service menu there. Service data and items, addition work, additional work, confirmation. So with this minus button, we're gonna go down to confirmation, confirmation. Then with this button down here, we're going to confirm. And then it says full service, cancel full service, cancel single items. So just press that button again. And it says service confirmed and that should have reset the service now so let's have a look at this so the message is gone and also we have the next service due service a due in 12,430 miles and that's pretty much it so um, hope this video helps, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.